The Rotary Club of St. Lucia collaborates with the Seeds International Program to aid those in need. Hamadi Mark has that story. The Rotary Club of St. Lucia has collaborated with the Seeds International Program. The program aims to alleviate hunger by providing vegetable seeds to persons most in need around the world and especially in small island developing states. The Rotary Club made an application to Citizens International and was successful in receiving 1,500 packets of vegetable seeds. The president of the St. Lucia Rotary Club, Lathan Khan, says the strategy of the St. Lucia Rotary Club this year is to collaborate with organizations locally and internationally to continue their charitable work in St. Lucia. At a time like this when the world is facing a number of different crises, we have a health crisis. We have climate change. We have the possibility of military and economic conflicts and political conflicts that could seriously disrupt the food chain supply. And this is why uh, Seeds Program International is, is pushing this program to help individuals in, in smaller territories as St. Lucia to find a way to produce your own food. So it's, uh, it's like a first step towards self-sufficiency at the individual domestic level. And so Rotary is, is very happy and, and delighted to partner with such a prestigious organization who is seeking to do good in the world. At a small presentation ceremony, the seeds were distributed to organizations with existing farming programs to grow and produce with the intention of distributing the grown produce to persons in need. The Upton Girls Garden Center was a recipient. Deputy Director Olympia Vitalis accepted the seed donation on behalf of the center. At Upton Gardens, we do have an agricultural program that have been operating for the past 41 years. And so this contribution is going to go very well with what we do. Um, we provide food for our girls. We cater to girls between the ages of 12 to 18 and we encourage them to be able to develop that level of subsistence living that we speak of. So this initiative is really going to go a long way in helping them provide for themselves at the center as well as their families. So again, I want to thank you for having us receive this gift. As they say, caring is sharing, so we appreciate your care. Wang Son Son, director of the Boys Training Center, BTC, receiving the donation on behalf of the center, says that BTC currently has a hydroponics and aquaponics agricultural program. During the um, last year, when um, COVID really came onto the island and the lockdown, we saw that a number of our boys, apart from these programs, they too started their own farms. So um, a number of them today, is, is harvesting day for some of them. Some of them have Chinese cabbage and, and whatnot. So this will go a long way. And um, I must say that um, we have all come to, to realize how important food is to us as a nation. And um, it is good that we can help the young people to continue to leave um, 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 that legacy moving forward. So once again, I thank you, and your seeds will go a long way towards our programs at the Boys Training Center. The other recipients include the South Lewis Community College, National Skills Development Center, Castries Comprehensive Secondary School, St. Mary's College, and the Rotary Club of Grosley. The organizations are expected to prepare a summary report on the successes and challenges during the planting process, as well as include photos of crops to be sent to the Seeds International Program for accountability purposes. From the Government Information Service, I'm Humadi Mark reporting.